If you have watched the TV show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, you would have seen that the players have to go through a fastest fingers first round before they get to the hot seat. It means that if you are smart and can put in the right answer faster than anyone, you will make it through. Now, did you know that in the financial markets too, faster means better? And did you know that traders have been using computer programs to give them the edge over the competition by executing trades within microseconds? If you don't know what you have just heard, you need to watch this video until the end. Hello guys, this is Shweta and welcome to the world of Wall Street Mojo. What is high frequency trading? Whenever traders trade, they often do it based on some analysis. It could be fundamental analysis, technical analysis, sentiment analysis or even quantitative analysis. Once the trader has done the analysis, it is time for them to execute trades to make money or whatever they have concluded from the analysis. Now all this process might take time, right? Traders may spend a lot of time analyzing stuff and they may not be very quick with execution. What's the solution to this? Use a computer program to make everything lightning fast and super quick. So what traders would do is they would build algorithms or codes in which they'll put their trade parameters and execution system. This will make the computer or the system automatically place the trades and get out of it whenever the conditions are met. How does high frequency trading works? So by now, you would have understood that high frequency trading or HFT is a type of trading done using superior technology that includes specialized softwares and expensive and robust computer hardware. The traders usually hire quants to build these systems for them, as all this is very technical and would require a certain level of expertise. This concept of HFT might sound very exciting to you, but you should know that this type of trading is quite difficult to implement given the high barriers to entry. You'll need to spend a lot just to set up everything. You'll also need access to real-time data. You'll also need direct access to exchanges to get better execution. And finally, you will need a large trading capital to get a decent return after deducting costs and charges. So that's why large players normally do HFT with huge capital at their disposal. By the way, this is how the SEC has defined HFTs. Number 1. Super quick execution of trades. Number 2. Trading through several servers to reduce latency. Number 3. Getting in and out of trades very quickly. Number 4. Placing tons of orders each day. Number 5. End the day without any active positions. So this is all we'll discuss in this video on high frequency trading. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel as we will be uploading the part 2 video on this topic very soon. You wouldn't want to miss out on it. By the way, don't forget to give this video a like and maybe share it with others.